Hey guys, Serenity, Esoteric Empress. Thanks for coming back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video and talk about how you can improve your psychic or clairvoyant abilities. And coming now, this is the waxing phase of the lunar cycle. And so I think this is a good time for us to try and increase and maximize our magical powers. So let's get into it, shall we? The first way I would say is meditation. Meditate for at least 10 to like 20 minutes a day if you can find the time. This is going to quiet your mind down and allow for you to get divine messages from the universe. Sometimes our mind tends to ask questions and answers itself over and over with all of the wrong answers, but until you quiet that space in your mind and allow to hear, then you will be able to hear the divine messages being sent to you. Number two, get familiar with spirit guides. Those are deities, those are your ancestors, those are people that you think in history that are have some had some some mystical influence on your life get familiar with those and this will open up a whole new understanding of the ability that you all that we all possess number three tune into tune tune into sounds tune into sounds that you usually don't like you know I I think this is awesome because when you ignore certain things, like I said, I did a video on the birds, like I made some air muffs <laughs> for my daughter and I, and some things we allow our mind to just hum in the background, like, or like white noise or something, and we don't actually pay attention to them and listen to the sound. So one day I actually sat there, this was like maybe 4.35 in the morning, and listened to the sounds of those birds, and then it hit me. I could hear the entire conversation. It was like I didn't understand. I can't translate it, but <laughs> but I can hear the entire dialogue going on between those birds. And one particular bird, he has like 300 and something different sounds. Like, and he would say each one twice. He'd tweet each one twice, and then move on to the next one, never repeating the same thing twice. I mean, more than twice. It's amazing and magical. So. Learn to tune into those things and you will get a better understanding of nature and you will be able to hear that when some things you, your mind tells you without, when you're in that meditative state that your mind tells you, you're not going to be like, mm, throw that away. That didn't make any sense. Like the most far-fetched things you will get sent from the universe as a message and you will be able to hear it better and understand it better. Number four. <laughs> telepathically get a friend or someone you love to contact you <laughs> and this is practicing this is actually using mind power now uh, to influence their mind you see when I was younger <laughs> I remember waiting at home for my uncle and like sometimes I'd send like Griffey said he's going to like McDonald's or something like that I'm like hey get me a kid's meal or happy meal it was back then <laughs> give me a happy meal give me a happy meal and when I see an hour or two hours pass I would sit down and I would mentally think Uncle Fred Uncle Fred <laughs> and I'm smelling my sandwich or my nuggets or whatever and imagining me ripping open my toy and literally sometimes like in less than five seconds before i can stop myself from doing it i would see the light pulling into the driveway and hear the jeep and i'm like yes it's so, bad. Like, <laughs> so doing this actually strengthens your your mental abilities it strengthens your your psychic capacity okay <laughs> so that's number what five number four that's number four number five grounding yourself spiritually on a daily basis getting grounded like you know for some people you know they just meditate for some people getting grounded is praying some people it's different ways that you get grounded like you actually come to reality like you're in this present moment and you're accepting it for what it is at the moment and living in that moment and so that is that is number five 
next. Cleansing is also another one that I should say along with that because grounding and cleansing are two different things. I tend to go outside bare feet a lot and people don't understand why, but it's because I am just getting full contact with the earth. And I would prefer sometimes to sit down on the ground outside because I like to be lower to the ground. I like to sit on grass. I like to do like, <laughs> and, and it, it just looks awkward at first to some people, but after a while they see that I'm most comfortable that way. And so that's getting grounded, things like that, like becoming more connected to your environment. Um, number six, keeping your vibes up, staying up, staying in a positive mindset, being optimistic, you know, trying to see that there's a benefit to everything. No matter how horrible things seem, no matter what it is, there's always you know benefit to it so this is going to help you to stay in a more happy place okay this is because you can't your powers are greatly diminished when you go around acting the opposite from how we are made to behave when you go around bitter and and and, and hateful and angry and stuff you're not allowing yourself to be your greatest possible version you are hindering yourself you're actually like you have a straight jacket on basically when you go around that way and things the divine the entities the good entities and stuff are not going to really be attracted to you because you're not putting out emitting that 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 frequency that is conducive to good transformation and change and manifesting and all of that good stuff number seven this is a very important one taking care of yourself this means eating right this means exercise this means like sleep <laughs> this means you know taking supplements trying to avoid getting sick and stuff like that like taking loving yourself is very important this is pampering yourself so that you don't feel in like when you look at flaws and things that are wrong with you you're taking care of yourself you know that you're putting in the work because this is a divine temple that you are in and that you have to care for it in order for it to do the magic for you that you're requesting that you feel it can do that's very important and people think that you know only the people who want to lose weight or or get muscular and stuff like that exercise and that's not true if you want to increase your natural abilities and your supernatural abilities you need to exercise those abilities just like you know use it or lose it you need to like pump it up get stuff circulating get things going get your energy levels up you know get stronger and you know by getting stronger physically it makes us feel stronger spiritually and emotionally as well number eight is giving people practice readings you can do it for friends you can do it for family members i mean if those people are interested in that or you know not going to give you any kind of feedback a negative feedback i mean like practice it like i said use it or lose it so you're going to have to start using those abilities you're going to have to start like understanding the way things work and understanding the universe understanding the supernatural and understanding that the more you do these practice things the more you will be able to become like basically like a private investigator you'll become like basically uh, uh, uh yeah a detective basically because you're gonna learn a detective doesn't just go in there into the the bureau and just becomes the best detective in like the first year he has to practice that he's the more he practices solving cases and stuff like that the better he's going to be at putting the puzzle pieces together and the same thing goes for you with your psychic abilities and your clairvoyance the more things that you learn about it the more you do it the more experience you have with it the better you're going to get at it the better you're going to see the, the full story for what it is that's number eight number nine nature 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 getting comfortable with nature that's that's a very important step as well because that's the essence of it all that's the magic of it all that's where it comes from it we are part of it we are you know nature is here to serve us nature would not be here without us you know nature would be just like when the dinosaurs were around and it served for a purpose then so obviously it's gonna serve even more of a purpose now and so we have to get connected 
to nature we have to learn the cycles of life we have to learn about you know animals we have to learn about things like that and we'll notice that our mind is much more at ease when we are in nature versus a man-made structure you know that's dead it feels dead inside you know nature is alive nature is teeming with energy and that's why we need to do that more often and even doing readings and stuff like that out in nature is even better because you're going to be harmon harmonizing with it that's number 10 and number nine number 10 is keeping a journal writing things down logging your experiences logging the thoughts that just pop up into your mind dreams stuff like that they are messages from the universe they are messages being sent to you um, supernaturally so you're gonna have to start learning to log those things so that you could connect meanings to them um, when they happen write them down all right I, I've kept a journal ever since I was a little girl and to my dismay, I'm thinking a lot of times I think, oh my gosh, like, what's going to happen if something happens to me? Everybody's going to be reading these things. Sometimes I write over one post, but then that serves no purpose to me because then I can't go back and even read it myself, which after like three, five years, I like to do and see where what place I was at in my mind. <laughs> and it's really exciting to do as well. So start taking, keeping track of those things. Uh... 11 prayer or or affirmations you know it, it's going to keep you in tune with your divine connection it's going to keep you at that wavelength that conscious consciousness it's going to keep you basically awoken <laughs> like it's you know it's it's getting your mind prepared in that space to know that the god is also alive in you and that you know you have the same abilities and and, and, and and capabilities and that you're not one of those people who just are like twiddling their thumbs marching to the beat of other people's drums you are going to be walking your own truth and you're gonna feel like you have a relationship with divine with source energy you're gonna feel connected and it's gonna feel like a friendship like a partnership where you are going to be more confident in the supernatural abilities that you are actually improving or building for yourself. Um, it's number 12 is really interesting. Studying pictures of old family and friends. Um, it doesn't matter if the people are dead or alive. If it's, it's, it's a lot of times better when you know the story around the picture, but it's even better to study some pictures that you are unfamiliar with because you're going to be able to now you sit down and you meditate on that picture and you're going to realize that some things start to appear to you in your mind or you start to feel a certain type of emotion or a certain type of energy growing and surrounding this picture. It's like, what do you feel? It looks like, okay, if the woman is like, standing afar from her husband and like you know there's a child doing some hard labor in the back or something like that you're gonna see like this seems like something that was not really a happy relationship it could have been just a bad moment bad picture they could have been hot and tired but it's a greater feeling that you're gonna get that's gonna tell more truth about those pictures and those are the types of things that you need to do more of um it's it's opening up your mind to to other realms basically of existence and of energy number 13 research and study read more like learn more gain wisdom and understanding and knowledge like you're gonna have to study of course clairvoyance study the psychic the world of psychic mediums research you know uh, Things like that that are gonna actually explain things to you better, and you're gonna have a great, have a greater grip on the the entire scope of what it is that you're seeking. And if you're seeking to see better with your third eye, then you're gonna have to study. I'm gonna say, you know, number 13. When I talk about third eye, I'm gonna make that number 14. Number 14 would be cleansing and clearing your chakras. That's of course I said that with uh, uh with being grounded cleansing yourself and stuff like that but your chakras are something that are different i think from just your entire body it is some it is those areas of you that are 
most responsible for a certain thing. So your third eye, your, your pineal gland, your third eye, all of that is located up at the top. This is your crown and your third eye chakras. You're going to have to do things to improve those areas. You're going to have, you can use crystals, you can, you can do uh, meditation, mantras, all kinds of different things you can do to cleanse and to strengthen those areas, those chakra spots. Number four, 15 is imagine greater. I imagine, practice imagining the most preposterous things. Like I was watching Magic Mike. He does like a lot of um, astrology related talk and like horoscopes and all of those kind of things. But he talks about a lot that, you know, you have to, to be magical, you have to think magical. You have to like, <laughs> you have to not limit your imagination because as a magician or as anybody who is into the esoteric world, you're going to learn about some things that are going to blow your mind. And to, in order for you to become better and stronger at what you do, at your practice, at your craft, and have a better sense of self, faith in yourself, you're going to have to be able to stretch your mind to lengths that other people just don't understand. And when you try to explain things to them, they're like, what? <laughs> so learn to practice stretching your imagination. And you, of course, your imagination is, is so super, super important and responsible for so many great things in our lives. We don't, we take it for granted every day, but the power of our wonderful human imagination, Neville Goddard talks about it a lot. Neville Goddard, new thought guy, like he's not really even a new thought guy. He was like, a, he was a like imagination specialist, like, <laughs> and we can manifest much better. We can see our lives actually take form to what we imagine as we get better and more comfortable at doing it. And so being a psychic, you're going to have to have your mind be able to be stretched to different lengths that are not common to the average person. And so learn to practice doing that. Open up your mind. Number 16, be aware. Open your eyes and open your real eyes and realize what's going on around you. This is this is a this is the realm of the seen and the realm of the unseen and magic is the realm of the unseen more than the seen. And so you're going to have to become aware and start to strengthen your other abilities. You have clear sentience, clear audience, clear cognizance, clear what is that one? <laughs> I said clairvoyance already. Clear gustance. This is psychic tasting. Did I say that right? <laughs> You're going to have to practice strengthening and sharpening all of those other areas and to make you a complete whole, you know, as a super powerful being. All right. Number 17, study the auras of other people. Feel out other people. You know, sometimes our spirit just doesn't take to a certain person. That's for a reason. I don't think anything happens for a as a coincidence. Those things happen because your spirit, there's something that's not resonating with their spirit and there's a clash. It's just not clicking. And so you have to learn to feel people out. And it's not saying you're just going around judging everybody <laughs> vainly and superficially. No, it's just the feeling that you get. You study them. Sometimes you don't have to even say anything. You just observe. Observe things about people. And, and you'll find that they often come right out when you see it and tell you. <laughs> And you're like, hmm, that's interesting. And that you saw it already, you see. Number 17, is that 18? Uh, yeah, tarot cards and stuff like that. You're going to have to get your hands on those and start, like I said, doing some practice readings, practice stuff, learn, up, learn about the world of esoterics, okay? Because we are responsible for our own destiny. <clears throat> And so we can't put it in other people's hands. And if you want to be your best version, if this is something that you're interested in, I would say those tips are definitely going to help you. And I'm so thankful for you watching today. I'm soon getting ready to just dash. It's another day that's almost time for 3 o'clock. And so I'm just doing this quick video before I go. I'm glad I made it before 20 minutes. <laughs> Thanks for watching once again. Um, like and subscribe to my channel um, because I'm going to be talking about some more great stuff, great topics I always have. So 
peace, love, and blessed be.